Hello YouTube, this is Robert Ness 816 and this is going to be my very first unboxing video. So I just got this in from eBay. This is an unopened copy of Earth Defense Force for the Sega Genesis. Um, this is a third party game made by Realtek, so it is not going to have a uh, actual Sega cartridge. It should have a custom cartridge. Um, so gameplay wise from what I've emulated it's not bad it's basic it's what you would expect from a third party company that does not have uh, proper development software for the Genesis from the uh, time period. This game uh, if I had to compare it to anything today it would be like a high end um, hack I would say or a homebrew game because um, again what they did was they probably used a uh, third party not third party but um, their own uh, sort of reverse engineered um, development uh, hardware for the uh, Genesis console. So I got this off of eBay. Uh, it was $14, $14.95 plus I think $3.95, $3.95 in shipping. Took me, um, or it took them about four days to ship it. So there we go. So pretty cool thing. It's a two player game. Uh, which is actually uncommon for the Genesis. I don't know why. They couldn't have uh, more two-player shooters, but um, whatever. So this game came out in 1993. And uh, there you go. So let's cut this thing open here. There's my Centrum Silver. I love taking vitamins. I don't know what they do for me, but supposedly they're good. And I'm going to try to... How am I going to open this up here? Like I'm, like I'm carving wood. Except I'm not... Alright, so let's just pop this over here. Trying to do all this in like one take. Mm. There we go. So there's that. That's already... Look at that. That's like a unique clamshell design too. Hope this isn't like a repackaged game or something because then I'll be uh, a little disappointed. But yeah. I know some of you guys are like, oh, you should have left it sealed. It's a classic video game that you should have left sealed. And I cannot believe that... Ah, it stinks. I cannot believe that you're opening it. Oh, God. Not sure if that's stale 90s era that's coming out of there or, or what, but that stinks. Alright, so... Now that that's been all opened... What does it look like? There we go. Game falls out of its little holster there, which uh, oddly enough looks like a regular Genesis holster. Weird. Here's the game itself. Very interesting cartridge. Just like what I've seen on the internet. This is an unlicensed game, so... I am not sure if this will work on my uh, TMSS Sega Genesis. Um, I'm hoping it will. Come on. System. Sega. Alright, so that's that. It doesn't even sit. Look at that. Look how it fits. <laughs> I like that. That's kind of funny. Uh, the manual is too big for the case. I also read about that online. Um, Nicely made though. I kind of like how it's like a little pamphlet dealy. And let's move this out of the way. And try to unfold this. So, alright, so I don't think I got a, uh, um, a hack or not a hack, but a, uh, a fake. I think I got the real deal here. Um, this is like concurrent with everything that I'm seeing. Uh, online as far as the manual goes and everything else, but yeah, this nice simple manual here basically shows you how to play the game and stuff. Okay, so pretty easy, and now I'm gonna see how this game works. If I can open it up again. Oh, there we go. As it falls out. 
So I have never seen one of these games out in the wild. I've never even heard about this game until I was just randomly going through eBay and found them brand new in a box. I emulated it. seemed like it was all right. Um, but again, it's not going to be anything crazy. So let's go uh, pop this into my Genesis console here as I trip over pillows and whatnot. And... All right, so that's a TMSS Genesis Model 1, so it's not a... Uh, an early one, so we'll see if the game cartridge can read the uh, Sega uh, security chip or not. Or security code, I should say. It's on composite, good. Wow, look at that. That's interesting. So wait a minute, guys. Let's see what this game does here. It's... Uh, Let's take a look at a licensed Genesis game here. What's uh, what do I have over here? Oh, I got this basketball game. I got uh, Paul Riley's basketball. So this is a licensed, legitimate Genesis game here. Let's see what happens when we power on the Genesis with a licensed game. Look at that you get the uh, produced from or licensed by Sega. And then the game starts up. Interesting. Okay, so now let's put this real tech game back in. Fits in nice enough. Look at that, it bypasses the security screen altogether. So let's play the game for a little bit. I'm only gonna do it one-handed though. There's plenty of videos where you can actually see the uh, the rest of the gameplay footage. So, you press the start button. That's interesting, I didn't think it would work. Yeah, so... Level's normal, I max out the lives, because I'm going to suck, I know it. Uh, there you go. Okay. Music's already. <laughs> Where's my enemies? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Ugh. So I got this little shield thing here. If I push the C button, which is kind of neat, like that, so I can just kind of get like invincibility for a little bit, but it only lasts me for a little while. Alright, so that's basically it. I just wanted to unbox the game, show it off, and uh, that's it. So, as far as graphics go, um, this does not have multiple backgrounds, only a single background and a decent soundtrack. But as far as gameplay-wise, it seems pretty fun, at least from the emulation uh, perspective. So, thanks for watching, guys.